Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we have a um, set of zero day vulnerabilities that are happening uh, this month and the security updates and uh, it is interesting to maybe look at them as today is past Tuesday but we don't have zero days uh, that many uh, usually in a month. You'll have one or two but uh, most months we don't have any. Zero days are, you know, recently discovered, already exploited flaws in general. They are the most dangerous because there are already some bad guys that know what to do to infect a machine. So today's updates in the uh, Windows updates fixes some of these flaws. Now, what are these famous zero days? One of them is what's called Windows Mark of the Web Security Feature Bypass. What's Windows Mark of the Web? It's a security feature that's used to tag files that are downloaded from the internet and prevent them from actually performing certain actions. Actions. So when they are flagged, basically, they will be opened only in protected view in Microsoft Office, for example, things like that. So a malicious actor could craft a file that bypasses this feature. Uh, this is uh, already exploited in the wild. And uh, basically, it was discovered um, apparently by, which is not credited to any researcher in particular, absolutely, uh, apparently. So uh, basically, it's um, researchers at HP that observed um, this ransomware group exploiting this flaw in the wild, actually. Um, there's a Windows print spooler vulnerability, elevation of privilege. In a um, this type of, of vulnerability, uh, what happens is that um, this flaw can be uh, has been exploited in the wild, first of all, as they say, and they can use the print spooler service to gain interest in actually making, um, you know, passing from a standard user, for example, to admin and do what they want. Um, there's a Windows a CNG or cryptography key isolation service elevation uh, that's used in Windows uh, cryptographic support operations. And so they can attain system privileges. There's also a scripting language remote code execution vulnerability in there. There's a, a certificate verification buffer overrun that can happen also. So these are some of those zero days that were actually exploited um, the one that is to be the most, they're all important, but the one that has to be the most important of all apparently would be the Windows Mark of the Web Security feature. So uh, this is kind of interesting here to see that uh, this is part of uh, of the, uh, the thing. The critical update, and critical means it's really, really important to fix is, of course, the Windows scripting language remote code execution vulnerability. So um, basically, Microsoft says that uh, this is the um, the exploitation of this one is more likely. So um, basically, um, it's exploited in the wild, and successful exploitation requires a user with an affected version of Windows to visit a malicious attacker controller server. So basically, any visit to a, a website that would have crafted code in there could uh, easily um, infect your machine and, and basically just uh, take control. So this is a quick look at what's in there and why it's important to uh, update today, particularly with all the zero days of this month. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.